The best budget smartwatches combine the functionality of a smartphone and convenience of a watch in one amazing product. The product we will discuss today is the latest TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra, which boasts more premium features than any other Mub Voice wearable up to date, and certainly there's never been a better time to get one. In today's video, we will check the accuracy of the heart rate, oxygen saturation, and the step count of the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra, and also will test its waterproof capabilities, discuss the GPS efficiency, and will show you through the practical features of the Pro 3 Ultra, which includes a bunch of TicWatch exclusive apps that come pre installed with the watch. So stay with me. Welcome back, this is Adam, and you're watching Family Pop TV YouTube channel. Mobvoi, the company behind the TicWatch brand, is known for making small incremental changes and improvements year over year to its product line. Last year I have reviewed the TicWatch GTH, an entry level budget wearable from Mobvoi, which has been currently upgraded to Pro. The Pro 3 Ultra is no different. Thanks to the significant upgrades, we got here one of the best smart wearables currently available. In the nice looking box, we can find the watch itself, instruction manuals and a charging cable. Whilst this is marketed as a rugged smartwatch for adventurers, the Pro 3 Ultra has a very premium, solid design I truly admire. The Ultra comes in two variants, GPS, and this is the model we're testing today, which is only available in black, and LTE, which comes in a more luxurious dark brown hybrid leather. The materials of the watch feel very durable, which you would expect from the military standard 810G specification. Its 47mm casing is made from a combination of stainless steel, high strength nylon and fiberglass, complemented by a 22mm quick release band, which is made of fluoro rubber and it's super soft to the touch. It has a decent amount of flex without feeling floppy and at the same time it feels very durable. This is so far the most comfortable watch strap I've ever come across on a smartwatch and it's exactly the type of material that doesn't feel abrasive whilst working out. By the way, the strap can be switched out for any 22mm strap. I personally like the magnetic straps or leather straps. There are Amazon links in this video description where you can find some good looking alternative straps When we flip the watch, we can find the HD PPG heart rate sensors and the SPO2 optical sensor and a charging port. At the side of the case, we got two multifunctional buttons and a microphone. At the other side of the case, we got a speaker so you can take calls on the wrist and use the built-in Google Assistant to check the weather, bring up your heart rate measurements, etc. The non-rotational black bezel maintains a nice reflective quality with numbers etched on it in 5 minute intervals. And the display, this is where the tick watch really shines, using clever 1.4 inches 4 color dual AMOLED FSTN display with the high resolution of 454 by 454 pixels which is protected by Corning Gorilla anti-fingerprint glass. I said clever, but what it does in practice, it switches between the bright AMOLED to mono low power consumption FSTN display, which not only produces a black and white display, higher contrast and wide viewing angle, but it doesn't penalize the battery life in a way that most always on modes tend to do with any other Wear OS watches. The thick watch dual screen is not just fancy and bright even in the direct sunlight, but it's also responsive to touch even when using it in the water. Talking of which, let's drop the Ultra to the water as it has an IP68 water resistant rating which does mean it's safe to jump into the shower with it and it's fit for swimming too. To recap, international standard rating of IP68 means the wearable is fit enough to withstand dust, dirt and sand and is resistant to submersion up to a maximum depth of 1.5 meter underwater for up to 30 minutes. As you can see, the Ultra is totally fine after being submerged in water. 
it's even drain itself of the excess of the water. This feature can be activated by long press bottom hardware button and then select speaker draining. If your Pro 3 Ultra gets wet in the rain or after a swim or a heavy workout, there's no need to insert anything into the openings and you don't need to shake your watch to remove any water that might have got inside through the speaker holes. As you can see, it literally spits out the water. All this to prevent moisture from causing long-term issues. The overall performance of the TicWatch Pro 3 has been fantastic, thanks to the Snapdragon 4100 processor and the 1GB of RAM, the watch was fluid and handled all the tasks I threw at it. It feels smooth with no lag that I can detect. All touches are recognized and there's no delays between presses and apps opening. While it isn't running the 4100 Plus chipset that can be found in the new Fossil Gen 6, which we reviewed not long ago, Mobvoi is adding its own hardware to compete with that newer processor. And this just works like a charm. It's certainly smoother than the Fossil Gen 6. The TechWatch runs on Google's Wear OS 2.33 and will get a promised update to Wear OS 3 later this year. The setup procedure for the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra is pretty straightforward. Turn on the watch and then the watch will instruct to download the Wear OS app on your phone. And then begins the process of pairing, which includes connecting the watch to the internet through Wi-Fi. Wear OS will then link everything up with Google Fit for data and analytics. Plus, you'll be using the Mobvoi app as well in order to access all the features and settings of the watch. It was a bit confusing for me at the beginning, why two apps? But it's the same as you can see in Samsung Galaxy 4 where you need Wear OS app along with the Samsung app to unleash the potential of the watch. There's a bunch of apps to choose from with standard Google offerings such as Google Translate, Google Fit, Maps, Phone, Weather or Spotify. Another big plus is Google Pay which is fully supported on this watch. I have made numerous purchases using it, as it's so convenient. In case you're worried about security if using Google Pay, you must set up a pin or pattern which activates every time you put on the watch. Therefore, if the watch was taken from you, Google Pay would not function without it. I have tick sleep monitoring my sleep as the watch is comfortable enough to wear to bed. However, I couldn't scientifically confirm the accuracy of my sleep. The Pro 3 Ultra does the good job with its sleep tracking software. It's basically able to detect when you're in REM, deep sleep, light sleep and awake. Another two useful apps, Tick Zen and Tick Breath, can help to de-stress. Is a new addition to the Tick apps, which can 24-7 monitor your heart activity to detect irregular heartbeat IHP, and arrhythmia or abnormal heartbeat known as AFib. Talking of which, let's check the accuracy of the heart rate of our Pro 3 Ultra against the NHS approved medical pulse oximeter and Omron medical monitor. In the first test, I'm very relaxed. The readings on Ultra 67 beats per minute. The readings on the Pulse Oximeter is 65 beats per minute. That's very close. Let's repeat the test, but well, I'll use Omron Medical Monitor this time. My heart rate raised, probably from the excitement. And here we got the readings, 75 beats per minute on both devices. But that was too easy. I'll do several press-ups to raise my heart rate a bit, and then we'll take one more measurement to see if the readings are still accurate. By the way, all of the readings get pulled into Tick Health app and Google Fit, as well as Apple Eye Health if you use an iPhone. Right, we got here 94 beats per minute on the Pulse Oximeter and the Pro 3 Ultra shows 95 beats per minute. I'm absolutely happy with the watch accuracy. Let's just briefly check the blood saturation level known as SpO2. It takes a while and here we got the results. 97% of SpO2 on both devices. All these tests gave us the results that were very accurate and consistent. I'm happy with that. 
Tick Exercise has all the modes you would expect from an exercise tracking app, which basic such as running, cycling and swimming, and more fancy options such as beach volleyball or body mechanics and many more. The Ultra can also detect some workout types. I found this useful when I was out walking and it was quite accurate at knowing that I had started and stopped, something the other rivals struggle with. To confirm the accuracy of the step count, I used my reliable manual tally counter, clicking it for each step. I have done various stride steps with various speed just to make it more difficult to the watch. Here we got 1984 steps for my manually counted 2000 steps. This gave us 99.2% of the pedometer accuracy, that's certainly good enough to me. The watch also shows the average speed, highest and lowest speeds, elevation change, calories burned and heart rate points, which is more than I would ever ask for. It also tracks the position of your workouts thanks to its built-in GPS feature. However, for walks and runs it takes a while until the watch would lock on the GPS signal. On several occasions it took from a few seconds to nearly a minute until the watch found the signal. This is most possibly caused by locking up to a whole host of GNSS technology, which is GPS, Baidu, GLONASS, Galileo and QZSS. Usually, I do not wait for the signal to lock, I'm just starting my exercise and then the GPS picks up during the walk. I'm absolutely fine with that, but some people might see it as a major setback, however, this is something that will be addressed in a future software update. In nearly a month I spent with the TechWatch Pro 3 Ultra so far, the battery life was great. I found the 3 day claim to be pretty accurate, as I regularly got 3 days of use between the charges with 24 heart rate monitoring running in the background, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, sleep tracking, notifications and even doing workout or two. I haven't used it in the essential mode, which shuts down all the smart performance, limits you to the FSTN screen and only monitors steps, but this mode should allow up to 45 days of battery life. This is crazy. The TechWatch Pro 3 Ultra has a high 4.4 stars rating on Amazon. Let's check out what the owners have to say about the Ultra. Another stunning watch from TechWatch. Or oh, Great Wear OS smartwatch. Glitchy watch. Looks and feels premium, Google Pay is temperamental, open bank cards about 30% of time. Well, I'm not sure about that. I have made several purchases using it and had no issues here. There's one from Italy. The best Wear OS smartwatch. There's one from Germany, there's no better smartwatch. We got plenty of glowing reviews, as for the prices, the Ultra costs 289 British pounds on Amazon UK or 299 American dollars on Amazon US. Across the Europe we could buy the Ultra in the price range from 239 to 299 euros, Amazon Canada 399 Canadian dollars, Amazon Mexico we could get the watch from 7 to 10,800 Mexican pesos nearly 36,000 Japanese yens, or from 30 to 35,000 Indian rupees, or from 1,129 zloty in Poland. Here you can see how the price is looking for the whole TechWatch Pro series. So, in conclusion, this is a superb and very comfortable smartwatch that I can't see myself wearing for years to come, or at least until the next model comes out. Be sure to watch our other tech reviews of smartwatches to pick the best one which is going to suit your needs and your budget. If you think the TechWatch Pro 3 Ultra is the right one for you, don't miss this out. There's an Amazon affiliate link in the video description, so you could find it there for the best possible price. Ok guys, if you enjoyed that video, please give us a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button so you won't miss when the next video comes out. I'll see you next week, that was Adam and you watched Family Pop TV YouTube channel.